Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to mix skin tones and how to blend those skin tones when painting a portrait. So I'm going to be addressing undertones, different types of skin tones and which races usually have a certain type of undertone and that includes red undertones, yellow undertones and blue undertones. So we'll start with red. And for this, you're going to need burnt sienna and yellow ochre, which are those two colors right there. And you're also going to need white and black paint. So you can mix skin tones using a basic palette, red, yellow, and blue that makes brown. But it's very difficult to get the right shade. You'll find it requires a lot of, mis of mixing and, te and testing. And I really do recommend getting these colors if you don't have them because it makes life a whole lot easier. So you want to take the burnt sienna and in this case you want to use a bit more burnt sienna than yellow ochre and just use the that just mix those colors together and you'll get that nice red brown color that I'm gonna paint in that corner just to show you guys what that looks like and that'll be the base color I guess. And what I did, I showed the progression of the skin tone as you add white to make it lighter and as you add black to make it darker. But note, if you've mixed white into the skin tone, don't try and darken it again by mixing black because it'll turn grey. Once you have white or black in it, don't try and go the next direction because white and black will turn the whole colour grey. So red undertones is the most common undertone, you'll find that in a lot of races, that includes white, Hispanic, Indian and Middle Eastern people, Asian people that have a darker skin tone, and you'll also find that black people that are born in the Western Hemisphere, which includes Caribbean people and African Americans, they usually have red undertones, whereas Africans born in Africa have blue undertones. So that's just a little bit of information there. You don't have to know the exact racial background or exact undertone of the person you're painting. This is just to give you a guideline, especially if you're not using a reference picture. If, you're, if you are conceptualizing a character and you want to show a certain type of race, I'm giving you information as to which races have what kind of skin tones and undertones so yeah here I just show the progression as you add black to make it darker and after that we are going to move on to yellow undertones For yellow undertones, you, you're actually using the same colors, burnt sienna and yellow ochre, but the difference is in this case you want to use more yellow ochre than burnt sienna because it's a more yellowy brown. So you want to mix those two colors together. Yellow undertones are most commonly found in Asian people that have a lighter skin tone, so like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, that kind of group of people. This is mainly for lighter skin tones, which is why I didn't bother adding a plus black arrow. Even that base color that I'm mixing there, you want to add white because that's a bit too yellow of a brown to put as a skin tone. If an Asian person has a darker skin tone, it usually goes under red undertones rather than yellow as they get darker. Okay, that's that first color right there in that corner. And then I just showed the progression as you add white to make it lighter. Obviously, there's about a thousand skin tones in between the ones that I'm mixing and painting in the little boxes. I just try to generalize it and draw in like five to eight boxes just to show you all the main impression. Okay. 
and then we're gonna move on to blue undertones for blue undertones you're gonna need burnt sienna and cyan which is that nice blue color that you see right there and blue undertones is usually found in very dark skin tones so you'll notice as soon as you mix in the blue the paint immediately starts to turn into a very dark brown blue undertones you'll find mostly in African people and so immediately it gets to it turns to a very dark skin tone uh, when I drew in the boxes I accidentally put in the plus white arrow but that really isn't needed because you would only really find blue undertones in a darker skin tone so that's that base color there that I'm mixing I painted in the middle box and then you just want to add blue and black to as it gets darker Try not to go too dark, you know, nobody's a solid black color, <laughs> it's just a very, very dark brown. And then, so now we're moving on to portraits. So first things first, when you paint a portrait, nobody is going to have one skin tone in a portrait. There's always light and shadows that fall on your face and so you want to establish the lightest tone that you see on the face, the darkest tone and the mid tone and you could even mix your skin tone and paint it on the reference picture to just compare the two colors and see if you're going in the right direction so I mix the mid tone the light seems to be falling a lot on her forehead so I use that as I use that as a guide to make the lighter lightest tone and then in the corner by her chin there is very dark so I'm gonna use that as the darkest tone and so I mix that dark brown there so finally we're moving on to blending I feel like the biggest mistake that people make when they are painting a portrait is that they paint in the wrong direction either vertical lines or horizontal lines they try to paint in straight lines but that's not how it works when you're painting a face you have to follow the shape of the face which is a very round shape I took a pen and I kind of drew out the different parts of the face the forehead the cheeks the chin the eyelids all of these shapes are very rounded and you want to follow that that direction when you're painting don't paint in straight lines because then it will start to look very weird and two-dimensional so let's say I wanted to paint a for the forehead here so I am gonna take two colors a darker color to go on the outer edges of the forehead because that's where the shadow is really and then light hits the center of your forehead so I'm gonna mix a lighter color and I want to blend these two colors together here you go let me just show you those two colors there so I'm gonna take the darker color and I'm gonna paint it all around all around the edges of the forehead and note how I go in that round this shape when I paint hold on mix in the color and I just follow the outline of the forehead in that kind of round shape and when you're painting you want to use water because water will stop it from drying too quickly and you it, it's ideal to have the paint wet when you're blending it makes things a lot easier so use a little bit of water so yeah I just went in that outer edges of the forehead and then I'm gonna take the lighter color and I'm gonna paint that in the space that I left remaining the center of the forehead as you can see there and then what you want to do you want to take a tissue or cloth and you just want to wipe off the excess paint on your paintbrush 
and that's it don't add any water and then just start going at it go around where those two colors mix just start um going back and forth all around just until you you are satisfied with how blended they are if you find your paint is a bit dry and it's not blending well add water and that's it really and i hope you all found this useful and i'll see you guys in the next one